Okay, so I've taken the nuts off the base plate and the output shaft plate. I figured after mastering the an IT system to get this far, the last thing you need to see is an old man loosening his nuts. Anyway, time for the big reveal. I've just cracked the seals, I've not opened it yet. That is a pleasant surprise. When I drained the oil out, there was a lot of rusty crud in there, and that looks, by all standards, reasonably clean. So, that's the bottom of the transfer box off. Output shaft bearing is just a slide out. There's a small needle roller bearing in there. All that does is stabilise the end of the output of the gearbox. Otherwise it'll wobble in the wind. We don't want that happening, do we? So, to remove the intermediate shaft, this pin needs to come out. You see that all right? Yeah. There's a small dog that sits in a groove that just holds that in position. And you need to support the intermediate bearing, intermediate gears whilst removing this. Otherwise it'll all fall and go to ratchet. That then slides out inside there are two needle roller bearings now I'll check them for condition but I have never come across any that have actually been worn out and in need a replacement and I've done quite a few of these boxes so hopefully they'll be good as well each end of that to secure it from wobble is I'll get my head out of the way a thrust washer that's shimmed must keep these together And the same way round I've found and that's come out without a shim so that one that side didn't have a shim fitted a little bit of wear on that otherwise good no wear on the inner one Now, to disconnect the gearbox, the main gearbox, from the transfer box, there's six bolts. Three on the inside, three on the outside. I have seen some videos that state you can take the transfer box out, off the gearbox, without removing the intermediate gear. Now, I would love to see that done, because... The three bolts, or three nuts that you need to get to, to disconnect that, are behind the intermediate gear. So um, I'll get that prepped up and ready to uh, pull apart, and then we'll continue on from there. Right, time to separate the transfer box from the gearbox. One thing you will need to do, or make sure, either take the um, high-low control rod off, control lever off, or just disconnect it from the control rod on the box, because you transfer a four-wheel drive mechanism, it's still connected to the bell housing there. Either take the lever off, or just disconnect the control rod. Then, careful jiggling, and that's a technical word, that comes out. 
remember always bend your knees. That's what my dad used to tell me. He had a bad back as well. And that's it. So I'll take that off so it don't poke me in the eye. Next time I uh, lean over it. Back of the gearbox is now exposed. To start dismantling the gearbox. Here is one of Land Rover's special nuts. Which obviously you can buy the tool for from Land Rover. For something over a hundred pounds. It's on a, um, a tagged washer as well, so you need to bend the tags back. There it is, so I'll bend that back in a bit. Then, with the application of a tool I made earlier, if I can get it off the wall. Now it's not pretty. And you're all going to laugh, but it works. You can either get a socket that's just undersized and weld some dogs onto it, or you get a, I think it's about 32, 33 mil socket that's oversized, and you cut some slots into it. But it will save you a lot of money for the sake of undoing one nut. Okay, that'll do for now. Time for lunch. <coughs> Wobbly camera. Okay, so if you just want to do the gearbox, then you can stop there. Um, like I said before, this has been standing outside for some time now. So I've got I'm going to completely strip it down. So I need to remove this top plate. Because under here, this isn't going to come out too well, I don't think. Let's see if I can move the camera. I'll move the gearbox. Under there, you see at this point, is the pinch bolt that holds the fork onto the selector shaft so when you pull your high low ratio lever it pushes the link rod here and engages or disengages the high low system so that nut needs to come or that bolt needs to come out because that sits inside a little groove in the bar, it's no good just loosening it. Or as far as I remember, it's no good just loosening it. It works like a cotter pin. Once I can get it out, all right, keep that safe. That. I'll put that back into the fork a bit later and I'll... then we need to remove there's a ball bearing on the end of a spring that fits into a detent on the rod to lock it in position for now it's a little tight piston object that fits into a groove so when you pull the rod back and you feel that click that's that dropping into the groove I've already removed the bolts from underneath connecting the transfer box forward output so, let's see if it's going to come off without having to stop the video. 
tease it off and start the video again. There's my box to hold the output on. Well, that is something to persuade it with. Way the bar in there. There you go, got a bit of movement. You can all sit back and have a laugh now while I struggle to lift this full pull this forward. There's a little shelf there you can get some grip on without damaging the connection between the two. So that slides forward. with a smile should have taken the nut off the end chink and everything goes to pop all right so that is your four wheel drive bit. All it does is pull a lever, it pushes that, drops that back. Actually, four wheel drive, you push the lever down, don't you? It pushes that back, slides that onto there, all is good. Should have stayed inside there, but we'll put that back after we've cleaned it up. Put the nut on. And get that cleaned up. So that's it. There's the fork that sits on your that rod if you can see that see there there's the groove that that bolt sits across so there's no point just loosening the bolt it's really got to come out in order for that rod to slide out <coughs> so that's it that's your three shake main parts We'll get that out of the way, then we'll take the bell housing off and open up the gearbox.